Hi everyone, welcome back. So today I have a video that has been so highly requested from me. Every time I wear this look, someone says, do you have a video on this look? So this is not the exact look that I do because I kind of do it different every single time using different shades, but this is the recreation of the like chocolatey smoky eye that I do. It's using the main staple product which is a Laura Mercier caviar stick in cocoa and that is like the main product that I use to create like a chocolatey smoky eye like this. So since this was so highly requested I wanted to get at least a tutorial up. I am by no means a professional. This is just how I do my makeup. I have a whole lot to learn. That's why I watch other people's tutorials on YouTube. But if you'd like to see how I got this version of my like chocolatey brown smoky eye, I used a lot of MAC eyeshadows. There was only one eyeshadow that I used in this tutorial that wasn't a MAC shadow. So I used all MAC shadows. So I could possibly put this in my like MAC shadow combination series, but it is a full face tutorial. So if you'd like to see how I got this eye look and full face look then go ahead and keep watching. First I'm going to start my brow routine and I'm using this Sigma Brow Wax. I really love this brow wax but I also like the Milani one as well. This just helps because I have unruly brows. So I'm going to go in with two products from Anastasia and I like to use the Medium Ash Brow Wiz first to kind of define that outer line and then I go in with the Ash Blonde and I fill in the rest of the eyebrows and this just kind of helps for them not to get too too dark. Then to clean up any mess that I made, I go in with the Anastasia Concealer. This is in 1.0 and the concealer brush, number 18. I love this concealer, especially for under the brows. It doesn't work for me under my eyes, but it's the perfect consistency for under the brows. So I just create a nice fresh line and carve out my brows a little bit. Now we're gonna go into the eye look. I'm using the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in Coco. This is part of the eye look that I never change. I always use this as a base just because it's such a rich color. I put it on my lid first and you wanna work one eye at a time because this product, once it sets, it sets. So I'm just blending this out with the Sigma pencil brush and really just keeping it below my crease and on my lid. I do have hooded eyelids so I keep continue to look into the mirror to see where I'm placing it. Then I'm going to use my um, brulee eyeshadow from MAC to create a highlight. I'm putting this down before I do any transition color just so I get that nice base and then we can go back and blend. So for a crease color, I'm using Max Saddle and just kind of blending that into the crease and around the edges of that cocoa stick that we put down. And I love Saddle. It's such a warm, beautiful color and it plays really well with that chocolate base that we put down. So I slowed it down here so that you could see that I was really taking my time with blending this and diffusing that line, making sure that this was a really smoked out look. Then I'm going to go in with Handwritten, which is not as warm as some of the other colors from MAC, like Brown Script, but it is a really nice chocolate color. I think it pairs well with that uh, Laura Mercier shadow stick. So I'm just patting this all over my lid, and I didn't do my foundation first so I could be messy with this look because I knew it would take a lot of blending. So I'm going back in and blending again once you have that lid color down. And then I'm going to go in with Shroom and Brulee with this Sigma E47 brush. I love this for specific highlights and I really just wanted to get that right under the brow bone because it has a little bit of shimmer in it, the Shroom color does. And then I'm gonna just going to go black and blend again. I'm taking this NARS Coconut Grove eyeshadow. It is a deep, deep dark brown color and I'm using that as my eyeliner really just blending it into the lash line and I didn't show this in the video but I did go back in and use a liquid liner because I did apply lashes so I forgot to show that but I did use a black liquid liner so now I am cleaning up after I finished blending one more time I'm cleaning up under my eyes with a wipe and creating like a crisp line and I'm using this Dior glow maximizer primer I love this primer it is just a beautiful primer to use, especially in the summer when I'm wearing a full coverage foundation like I'm putting on today. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear, and this is in the color Fresco. I used Fresco because I was a little bit more tan in this video. And then I'm going in with one of my favorite concealers. This is the MAC Pro Longwear. I use it in NW15, and I'm blending that out with the Sigma F86 Tapered Kabuki Brush. 
Sometimes I use my fingers, sometimes I use a brush, but this has a nice point to it and I wanted to keep that line that I had created with the eyeshadow, so I went ahead and went in with this brush. To set that today, I'm using the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. This is an ethereal light. I do like this under my eyes. It's not my 100% favorite, but I do like it. So I'm just setting my under eyes and then a little bit on my chin and down the center of my face. For contouring today, I'm using Max Bone Beige Sculpting Powder and the NARS Eat a Brush. I believe that a NARS Eat a Brush is back in stock, so I will list that below where you can find that. So I'm just kind of using that to contour. And then I'm using this Laura Mercier Warm Bronze Mineral Powder to really use that as a bronzer and not so much as a contour. So I'm kind of putting this all over my face just to warm up my complexion. And then for blush, I'm using Max Cantaloupe Blush. This is a pro shade and I love it. It's more of like a matte color and ugh, it's just the perfect peachy color for the cheeks. And I'm using Bobbi Brown's Shimmer Brick in Nude with a small taper highlight brush from Sigma. I'm just putting that on the tops of my cheekbones and down the bridge of my nose. I love this highlight shade. And then for my eyeliner, I'm going in with Max Teddy Eye Coal. This is a really warm, rich brown color, but it's not too red, so that's why I used it for this chocolatey look. For blending out that liner, I'm using Max Saddle, and I'm just using a pencil brush and really working that in to blend out the liner. I went back several times to blend out that liner because I really wanted it to be a diffuse line. For my highlight, I'm using Shroom and I'm not mixing it with any matte color. I just used Shroom and put it in the inner corners. Now curl your lashes and I'm applying Max in Extra Dimension Mascara. And it doesn't really matter what mascara you're using. This was newer to me so I wanted to try it out. But today I'm using Esquito Lashes and they're in the kind Unforgettable. I really, really like these lashes and I'm also using the House of Lashes Lash Glue. Then after you apply lashes, I'm putting on this MAC Extended Play Giga Black Mascara. I love this for my bottom lashes because the wand is super small and I feel like I can get to all my lashes. So for my lip combination today, I used Too Faced Perfect Nude Lip Liner and then Max Pure Zen Lipstick and Flora Blundance Lip Glass. I love this combination. It's the perfect peachy color to go with a smoky eye. So this is the final look. Okay everyone, so this is the finished look of the smoky eye that I've been doing. Sometimes I use lashes, but this is such a dramatic look that uh, I thought a pair of lashes would be perfect. With if you guys are interested in the Esquito lashes that I used in this tutorial, which are the ones that I love the most, they fit so perfectly to my eye. I do have a discount code that I will list below, so you can take advantage of that if you're interested in purchasing a pair. I do this look and I do like peachy cheeks or corally cheeks um, and a nude lip, which is what I did today, and sometimes I do like pink cheeks and a really light pink lip. It's such a versatile color because it's not too too warm and it's not too too cool. So I think that it goes with a variety of different like lip and cheek combinations. But I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!